have we ever really shown your E36 on the channel? Yeah, like there's once? like one video. So this is your E36. It's gonna Why be is Michael. Michael working on it? Because he's gonna drive it like it's never been driven before. Well, you drove it. Yeah, that's true. No, he's pretty, Michael's definitely gonna drive it better than me. I, I think he's an E36 guy, and he's been, it's been a bit of a drought in Michael's life having a hard time finding a good time. He did the thing that everybody does where they get a stock car and they switch a couple of things and they have a blast and then they decide they're gonna build something. And then overbuild. And then- That's what I did. A classic story. It's, it's a tragic story it's how, is what it it's is. It's how it happens. <laughs> Don't do it. That's what happens when you get into drifting. You look like you're having fun. Well, so you're changing axle because one's broken. I mean, that looks pretty broken to me. Yep. Swapping out diffs, because uh, this one's the 293 diff, and that's way too long. <laughs> that one's a 323, so that should help. Center support bearing for the drive line, swapping out seats, and then tires and wheels. And oh, and a handbrake if we get to that point. If not, then. Oh man, we should. Not the right size. I got some extensions, man. <laughs> oh no! Jesus Christ! <laughs> You're trying to take out an axle bolt. It's up right? to you, buddy. You were tightening it? Ah, <laughs> oh, bro! <laughs> Pulling out the dash and the carpet to swap them both to black. The whole thing that started it was the hydro. But <laughs> I have had for a very long time socked away a very nice black carpet and a very nice black dash. And the way that we're rotting the hydro back here, you'd be stupid not to do it after the carpet is in. So it would be a real bitch to take it out. So. It snowballed. Yeah, that happens. Very quickly. <laughs> hey, Very honest, quickly. Honestly though, it's gonna be worth it once it's done. All right, so the dashboard is out of the E36. Sam Squinch, Michael got that done. Michael is tearing the carpet to shreds, which is okay, because this carpet is really gross. Yeah. There you go. And half the carpet's out. Sam Squinch is a nervous mess right now. Because <laughs> his car is <laughs> taking it. apart. <laughs> Look at it. It's going to work fine. Don't worry about that it's rat's nest fine. of rat's nest and mirrors. And... <laughs> Just have the carpet rip it out, bro. All right. Oh my god, it's so loose. Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, I've been driving like that for so long. Some of your seats. Yeah. Uh, Michael's been slaving out here off and day. Hey. Uh, and he got the carpet in Dad's car. Nice black carpet. We just finagled the dash in, kind of. It's not secured, but it's in place. Yeah, it seems to be rad when it's all put back together. And yeah, we're going to try to get the hydro plumbed this has been this bracket has been sitting in here for probably two or three years and so we're gonna try to actually get this guy plumbed before the event so Michael can have a handbrake that actually works all right Sam Squinch has this uh, new old stock Deenan uh, short shifter Dynan Deenan I don't know what you boombas call this stuff I always say Dynan Corey do you say Deenan or Dynan 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 Honestly, I don't know what's so special. I'm not a huge short shifter guy, but since How? it's pretty, I just don't like them, man. I don't know. But since this is exposed, we're going to take out the uh, the linkage from the bottom and replace it with a nice, nice new uh, short shifter. Where's my mouth do? Let me smell your breath. Welcome to this. This sucks. I just like, my knees are bending backwards and it's not fun. So uh, there's a heater valve back here uh, that goes to the heater core that had uh, broken 
So we replaced that, uh, and in order to get to that, we had to take off the uh, intake. We don't have to, but it makes it a million times easier. So we're just kind of throwing the motor all back together, and then uh, we got the interior pretty much done, except for the driver's seat. Uh, we have to route the handbrake and swap out a diff and an axle, and uh, this thing should be done, and aside from tires. The only thing that's left is everything we started out to do. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Michael and Sam Squanch got the interior all wrapped up over the last couple of days. All wrapped up. It still needs the driver's seat, but we've left the driver's seat out because we still need to route the hydraulic lines for the handbrake, and so it's nice to have some space in there. The black interior looks really spiffy. So much better. It's so much better than the Dove Gray. Oh, oh yeah. short shifter, did we talk about that? Oh, uh, yeah, the Deenan short shifter is installed. I do think we talked about that briefly. It's a medium shifter, not it a short is. shifter. <laughs> you should it's a very nice feeling short shifter. As I said, I'm not a huge fan of short shifters, but this actually feels very nice. So the drift event is today was today um, and we didn't end up making it we have been working on cars all week and the e36 fought us hard uh, since about noon yesterday Sam Squanch has been trying really hard to get the hydraulic e-brake in without any leaky lines or fittings but that has proven to be very difficult um, We've had a hard time doing hand brakes in almost every car we put a handbrake into. So, it is what it is. Um, that being said, the Z is on coils, and it looks great, and it has fresh tires on it, and it's probably gonna drive really, really well. Uh, I haven't test driven it because it's been blocked by the E36, but I'm very excited too. <laughs> We are going to make the next drift event at Spirit Peaks, which is in two weeks. Yeah, everyone's a little bummed we didn't get to go drive, but next, next event we will be totally ready for it, and hopefully we can have an entire day of drifting. It's cracking. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with the hydro. It feels rock hard, and it's... It's like the brakes are stuck tight so I think there's just air pressure in the line no and so there's so we need to bleed it yeah yeah we should just do that now but it doesn't seem like it's leaking finally up down up down so this didn't work right we no. didn't have first or third or reverse and it turns out that, that this cup comes out and you got to move this pivot point down because Dean and are smart. You might be able to see it. There are these little grooves and right here and right there you can move that. So we're going to try to do that and hopefully the transmission will work after that. Just push it in there. We'll be fine. <laughs> how, what, how far is this supposed to? Yeah. Wow, Michael. <laughs> So we put the blue thing on, now it's going back in the car. Tell him what happened, Michael. Fix. Oh my God, the voice of God just fucking <laughs> breathed the air into that microphone. <laughs> Tell him what you did, Michael. Um, we, uh, we put the short shifter in the right way, um, fixed it, and now it works, and now that's what you think. Put in the, well, <laughs> it, it yeah, I mean, we're gonna go test drive it. Okay, so. so the test drive with the E36 went well. Um, the short shifter now goes into all the gears, which is good. Um, reverse through fifth. Uh, originally, it was not doing that, which was weird, but it's fine now. Unfortunately, we never got the handbrake to work right. We spent a, at least a couple hours every day for a week trying to get the handbrake to not leak, but it ended up leaking out of 
uh, fittings under the car and then once that was fixed it started leaking out of the the master cylinder in the car and so we decided to just loop the thing as you can see here which sucks but we're going to get that fixed hopefully before the drift event this weekend um, sorry I haven't uploaded we had a big old Easter party at my house so last week was a mixture of struggling with the E36 and doing yard work and prepping the house for a party. We're very excited to go drifting. Um, hopefully it all goes well. In the next video or the video after that, we will be finishing up the pieces on the E36 and uh, prepping the rest of the cars, the last little bits and things um, before the drift event. So look forward to that. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you guys enjoyed it, leave a like tell a friend all that good stuff see you in the next video uh, have a good day <laughs>